All right, welcome back. And we are in Lightroom Classic, but most of this video is gonna take place inside of Adobe Photoshop. What we're gonna take a look at today is a more intelligent way to apply presets to your images and make them what we call non-destructive. This is also going to allow you to stack presets. So this was a question I had a couple weeks ago. Somebody asked if there was a way to do it. And I said, well, kind of not really. So I'm gonna run you through a process that's going to allow you to stack presets in a non-destructive manner. All right, so this can work from any browser. So right now we're in Lightroom Classic. So the way I have Lightroom set up is it's, I use my adjustments here in the develop panel as my raw converter, it doesn't go to Adobe Camera Raw. Either way, it's fine, all right? So you can either send an image right here, so I could hit Command D and throw this over into Photoshop, or I could go to Bridge and do the same thing. We'll pick a different person. I will right click here and go open with Photoshop. And this one's gonna throw it into Adobe Camera Raw. That's gonna be my raw converter. What I'll do here is just lower the contrast and lower the brightness a little bit and hit okay. Look, I'm not trying to tone these images. That's not the point of this video. So we've got these two images right here and this is the process. Notice I didn't apply any of the presets yet. We're actually going to use Adobe Camera Raw to apply the presets. So what I can do here is if you look over in my layers panel, I've got my background image, there's my I'm gonna hit Command J, which will duplicate it. Then I'm gonna take this layer and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna convert it to a smart object. What this does is make the filter that I'm gonna use a smart filter and that will allow it to be non-destructive. I can go back and change it or I can add more to it. So now how do we add those presets? Well, we're on this new layer and then we're gonna go up to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Once you're in the Camera Raw filter, you can come on over here to the presets. Look, the presets in Camera Raw and Lightroom are exactly the same. So whether you're doing it here or in Lightroom, it doesn't make a difference. This is gonna allow us to be non-destructive. So I can come down here and I can pick something. So if I want portraits, light skin, I can scroll through there, see which one I like. Not a fan of any of those. So let's try portraits edgy and then we can go through there and check out these different portraits. Let's say I like this one. I can go ahead and select that and then I can hit okay. And you'll notice it will apply that preset, but it does it as a smart preset. So hey, if I want to go back and change this, I can double click on it. We can go back in time. I can click on the presets, do something completely different, select that, Okay, and now that preset is being applied. If I want to apply another preset on top of it, I can go up here to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, my presets, scroll down, pick something new, okay. And now you can see we've got both presets. And if I want to see what it looks like with one of them off, I can turn one of them off and it's going to show me what it looked like with just one on. If I want to turn this one on and this one off, I can do that as well. So it can allow you to stack and make non-destructive presets. What's cool about this is we can save this image, open it up today, tomorrow, the next day. These presets are going to still be here and we can change them. We could also, make it so there's different groups. So let's say I like this preset, but I also like another one, all right? What I'm gonna do is come down here to my background layer and I'm gonna hit Command J and I'm gonna create a new background copy. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make this a smart object. And then I'm gonna come up here to Camera Raw Filter. And then I can click on my filters. I can scroll down. We can do something completely different. We'll pick that one. Okay, to apply it. And now I can turn it, this top one off and on to see which one of the filters I like better.
So this is a much better way to apply presets. And the reason is if you do it in Adobe Camera Raw or you do it in Lightroom and then go to Photoshop, you can never adjust them. You're like stuck with it forever. There's no going backwards unless you start over with your image. So this allows you to create non-destructive presets inside of Photoshop that you can change at any time. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have and could give us a thumbs up, that would be great. If you have any comments or questions, you can always leave those below and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>